Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining today's session on how to get intellectual property rights quickly and at little to no cost with the Amazon IP Accelerator program, as well as the SME Fund and other free services uh, from the EU Intellectual Property Office. Uh, my name is Olivia Maducotelli, and I'm EU Customer Trust Manager at Amazon. My team uh, focuses primarily on engagements with governments, intellectual property offices, associations, and other third party organizations. And one of the areas we focus on is how to educate small and medium sized businesses on intellectual property registration and protection. Uh, before we jump in, I'd like to remind you that you can ask uh, us questions uh, through the functionality on the top right of your screen called Ask an Amazon Expert. We have uh, two Amazon Experts from Amazon there. My colleague Elizabeth O'Neill, who is the program manager for the IP Accelerator program, uh, and Augusto Drummond from our legal team, who has contributed to the launch of IP Accelerator in Europe. We also have experts from the EU Intellectual Property Office. So please feel free to send us questions there and our experts will be very happy to help you. So during the next 15 minutes, I will talk about Amazon IP Accelerator, a program developed by Amazon to make it quicker and easier to get intellectual property rights at capped and competitive prices. Um, and I will then give the floor to Nicolas Vigneron from the EU Intellectual Property Office, who will walk you through the free services and financial support you can get uh, from his organization. Um, but let me talk briefly about uh, intellectual property rights, as not everyone uh, here may be familiar with the term. Um, intellectual property rights refer to the legal rights given to a creator or inventor for his creation or invention for a certain period of time. You can see different types of intellectual property rights on the screen, uh, patents, trademarks, copyright designs. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I know that Nicola from the EU Intellectual Property Office um, will uh, walk you through the different types of IP rights. Um, but for the purpose of my presentation, I'd like to tell you a bit more about trademarks. Uh, trademarks are signed using commerce and trade to identify the source of a particular product or service. Um, so trademarks can be almost anything, but they are typically a word, for example, Amazon, Kindle, Audible, or a combination of words and all logos, symbols, and numbers. So think of the Amazon Smile uh, trademark, for example. Unfortunately, according to the EU Intellectual Property Office, only 9% of small and medium-sized enterprises own registered intellectual property rights, compared with 40% of larger firms. And we realized that uh, the primary reasons are that uh, small businesses uh, do not understand their rights and they do not know who to contact. So we really wanted to change that. And that's the reason why we launched uh, Amazon IP Accelerator. Um, so some of the benefits of Amazon IP Accelerator um, are the fact that you uh, can obtain intellectual property rights uh, quicker and easier, always at capped and competitive prices that we have negotiated with our partner law firms. And um, the fact that you get immediate access to Amazon brand protection in our store. So you get immediate access to the brand registry with your pending trademark. So rather than waiting for your trademark to be issued by the trademark office, uh, which can take years um, or months or years, depending on the countries, um, you get um, accelerated access to Amazon brand protections. Um, so to brand registry and also to our automated brand protections. But let me explain how Amazon IP Accelerator works. Um, so essentially, we put you in contact with a network of trusted law firms uh, who have been selected for their customer experience, their expertise, um, who have agreed to cap prices we negotiated with them, uh, the goal being to save you time and money. Uh, these law firms are able to assist you in the trademark application process and to help avoid common pitfalls which may severely delay the issuance of your trademark. 
Um, so one of the great things about IP accelerator firms is that uh, they are experienced in all areas of intellectual property, not just trademarks. Uh, therefore, they can help you from the birth of your company, the birth of your uh, business, and through its growth as you add IP assets to your intellectual property portfolio. Um, it's, you know, expert legal guidance is really critical um, in order to protect your brands against infringers and bad actors, and also to avoid costly mistakes down the line. Um, so what IP Accelerator does really is to help you get off to the right start. Let me talk a little bit about the different types of services you can get from uh, our IPA law firms. Um, as you can see on the screen, there are two types of searches that IPA law firms provide. Uh, the first one is a high level or identical search uh, that we look into selected EU intellectual property office rec records for anything that's already been applied for or registered. Uh, remember that trademark registration in Europe is a first to file situation, uh, which means that it's a race uh, to the trademark office. So you really want to make sure that no one beats you to it. Uh, the second type of search is a more comprehensive search uh, that will essentially look across the internet to see if anyone is using the mark but may not have applied uh, for that mark at the trademark office. And finally, firms can help you with the trademark application process um, and they work with trademark examiners at the trademark office so to facilitate the, the registration. Okay, so um, some of the um, benefits you can obtain uh, by uh, registering your trademarks with uh, IP Accelerator are, um, as I said, accelerated access to the Amazon brand registry. There is a tool in brand registry called the report of violation tool, uh, which allows you to search for, identify and report uh, infringements of your intellectual property rights. Um, you get access to selling benefits, including A plus content, uh, brand analytics and the brand dashboard. Um, to really track the health and growth of your brand on our stores. And you also get increased authority over your brand's product detail pages. And finally, you get continued support from the IP Accelerator law firms as your business grows, which is really important. Um, so Basically, to date, uh, over 7,000 unique trademark registrations have been filed on behalf of small and medium-sized businesses in IP Accelerator in the US and uh, the EU. And uh, considering the success of the program, we are now expanding it globally. Um, you know, you can see the list of countries on our website, brandservices.amazon.com slash IP Accelerator. Um, but currently in Europe, you can already file trademark applications uh, in the UK, Germany, Spain, France, Italy, the Netherlands, Poland and Sweden. Um, and you can see a positive testimonial from a small company we supported. Um, they say that, you know, they have struggled finding counsel for trademark specific questions as they are, as they are a small company and they work with limited budgets. And so, it, you know, they had the peace of mind uh, with Amazon IP Accelerator that we had vetted the firms and negotiated the pricing for them, basically. Um, the tip of the day. Um, so it's, it's important for investors to know that you are confident with the strength and validity of your intellectual property. So they are comfortable accepting the risk associated with taking ownership of your company's IP. Uh, so please remember to consider trademark registration and protection as part of uh, the growth of your company. Um, so thank you for your attention. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to give the floor to Nicola. Nicola, over to you and then we'll both be back for the Q&A session. Thank you, Olivia, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. So it's a real pleasure for me to, to be there, to share today during this conference, I mean, uh, the work that we are doing here at uh, EUIPO. At EUIPO, we are the intellectual property office uh, of the European Union. We are a public body 
located here in uh, in Spain, Alicante. And uh, I'm Nicolas Vigneron. I work here for EYPO and I'm responsible for the program to support small and medium-sized enterprises, small and medium-sized business. No? And what we are doing at the EYPO, we are helping businesses to grow their business by ensuring that we provide high quality trademark and design protection. And also by ensuring that you businesses, you get aware about intellectual property and how the intellectual property can help you in growing your business. So, so that we, we want to establish a win-win uh, solutions. So today, during this conference in the 15 minutes, I would like to share some of the supportive initiatives that, uh, that are available for you uh, to, uh, to support your activities and to support your IP journey. Uh, so that you are convinced that if you want to embark in this journey, we are there to, uh, to help you. And also that uh, IP is important because with intellectual property, as Olivia just said, I mean, you can keep the benefits of all your efforts. So what does, what is intellectual property? So briefly, as briefly mentioned by Olivia, there, it's a tool. I think that uh, intellectual property is one of the tools that you have to protect your business innovation and your business creativity such as new prod such as a new business that you are setting up or your new product and there are a different number of tools no i mean maybe the best known as uh, and uh, it's trademark because trademark is the intellectual property tool which is used to protect uh, your um, the signs, no, which you apply on your product, no. I mean, this is what we call the the brand, no. Your logo, it can be a name, it can be a a logo, but uh, design, it's another tool. Design there with design, you protect the appearance of the product. Oh, you can protect how a car looks like, how a phone looks like, how the game that you are doing looks like. No? So it's just the, the, the appearance as perceived by consumers. With a patent, uh, you protect the invention. You protect the technical invention which is behind. No? And with copyright, I mean, what is protected, it's the literary or, or artistic works, no? And here it's much more uh, easier to explain. It can be a book or, uh, or some piece of music which is uh, protected by, uh, by copyright, no? Think that actually a lot of products incorporate not only one single tool, but a set of different of these intellectual property tools, no? Just think about your mobile phone. Oh, in a mobile phone, you will have a brand. It will have a logo on it. Uh, the, the shape of the mobile phone will be protected as a design. Even some icons that you can see on the, on the, uh, on the interface can be protected as design. And it has a, a quite an extensive number of patents that also would, prote would uh, protect a number in, of inventions that is incorporated into this uh, phone product. No, I mean, think about uh, uh, the, uh, the tactile uh, touchscreen, uh, think about a number of other elements there that uh, the batteries, for instance, which are, are protected also uh, uh, by patent. So intellectual property is quite wide. You have the, all these different tools that do uh, allow you to protect uh, uh, all your uh, creations. But questions, what for? Why I really need protection? No? What is the added value for me as a business, you might ask me. No? I mean, the first, I mean, intellectual property is give you a competitive advantage no? in your activities because you are the only one who can use this effort, this creativity, and these innovations that you have put for a certain number of time. You can, of course, I mean, share it. You can license and you can share these innovations with others. But for the time being, I mean, this is your brand. This is your trademark. And this is only you who can use it. And you have, of course, you will be perceived in the market as the only one. 
intellectual property also as uh, mentioned by olivia at the end it's a powerful tool when you think about uh, finance no i mean for when we think about investors uh, to get into your to help you into your business in setting up your business i mean uh, it's uh, intellectual property is part of the asset of your company so maybe when you start i mean you don't necessarily have a building you will start with uh, having some ideas a brand innovations so with a couple of trademarks so intellectual property is what makes you unique no for and and your business and your ideas unique no and will protect it and will give a guarantee to the investors about uh, what you are doing intellectual property is territorial they are ip tools but they are territorial they only protect you where they are you acquire them uh, so uh, your trademark will with uh, when you file with eypo and we'll come back a bit later about that uh, you are protected in all the 27 member states of the european union so you are not protected everywhere you are only protected in these territories no? so if you want protection in other countries you will have to seek protection in all these different countries no uh, so this is this is a limit but also this is something for you to consider where you want to operate when you are operating where you see some business opportunity to operate and where you should be and think that it's even more important when you operate online where you you are very quickly your product will go very quickly global and finally it's intellectual property is a tool for marketing. No? Your brand is the first, your first marketing tool. No, I mean, this is how a consumer can recognize that this product uh, or different products are coming from the same source. No, they will identify your, your, uh, your company. They will identify your business with all the reputation that this business has. No, is it good quality uh, or, or is it quick or is it uh, uh, innovative? No, and for that, the brand is very important. So convinced about the use of intellectual property. Well, as Olivia also just mentioned, Unfortunately, not many SMEs in Europe are convinced about intellectual property and how these different tools can help them in ensuring that their business will flourish. Give you a figure that you can see there on screen. Only 9% of European businesses have at least one trademark design or patent registered. Only 9%. So 91% of those of the others have nothing also we know from a number of research that uh, it demonstrates that those smes who have ip rights actually have a higher revenues and you can see on screen the figures that 68 percent higher revenue that's those who do not have so it uh, it illustrates there with the single figures how important it is to be well protected and to have your brand, your innovations and your creativity well protected. Now, what do we do at EUIPO? We are not there. I mean, we are there to support you. We are there to support you. And I would like to mention mainly three main initiatives that are already there that you can already make use of. The first one, is that sometimes at the beginning of the journey and even maybe just after the conference for those of you who do not have considered using one of the intellectual property tool you would think i need some advice some first advice i need to check that really if my trademark is good if my design my product can be protected by the by your design or if my engineers there they have done some patents uh, work there and we have here uh, uh, a free personalized consultation um, solutions which is available to you second some of you will say yeah but this is expensive and you know why don't this is not necessarily where i want to put my limited fund well for that we have for a financial support it's called the sme fund where you can get 
reimburse some of the administrative fees when you want to get a trademark or design or a patent. I will get back to that one. And finally, for those who are really con convinced that they don't have any trademark and they need to register their trademark, I mean, we are, uh, we are facilitating this work by providing uh, an easy filing solutions. So that, mean, that means that you can file a trademark valid in 27 European uh, Union member states in an easier manner. Coming back to the first one, what is this free personalized consultation service? No? Basically, this is not something that the office provides directly. No? We are a public authority. We cannot provide directly this type of legal advice to you. But what we can, what we do is that we have a platform where you will sign up on the platform very easily, putting in your name, uh, putting what you want, asking the questions that you, the, the exact IP uh, related issue that you are facing. Uh, and we will match you with a number of uh, people, uh, professional, IP professionals that can support you in this first initial advice. So it is a service complementary to uh, the IP accelerator service that uh, that is uh, was presented by Olivia because this is just a first primary uh, initial advice to give you uh, a first ID. So you can do it online. In our website, we have providers uh, for that. You must be um, a European Union SME, uh, so it's only limited to uh, small and medium-sized enterprises, which are established in one of the member states of the European Union. And then we will match and we give you a, a list of uh, IP professionals who are volunteered to provide this service uh, for free. And then you will be able to contact them and we will get in touch with you at a later stage to get your feedback on how the service is working. So far, we have already supported over 1,700 uh, SMEs. And the service is quite recent. It has a bit more than two years. We can count on 264 uh, IP professionals who have volunteered to, uh, uh, to, uh, to participate to this service. And mainly, uh, we are supporting SMEs from Spain, Germany, and Italy, and with a very high satisfaction rate. So that was the first service you can benefit. What about the second one? What about the SME fund? And here what it is, it is a financial support that you can obtain uh, in order to re get the reimbursement of a number of fees that you will have to, be, to pay in order to get your intellectual property rights protected. It works. It is lim it, it is quite simple to access. It's already it's op it's open uh, at the at the same moment that I'm currently speaking. Uh, it is limited to also to European Union based uh, small and medium sized enterprises. No? And for that, you will have to will require only two evidences. The first evidence is that you are a European Union SME. And this is as simple as providing a certificate of the added value tax or the uh, national identification number that the nation competent national authorities will have issued. The second evidence we will request, so you have to get prepared to have, is a bank account uh, certificate, which should be the, exactly the same, uh, owned by the same uh, the, 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 the same company which is requesting the SME fund. What you can get as, um, as a support no? uh, via the SME fund, you can get uh, a refund of, the, uh, of mainly two types of services. First, for your trademark and design. At national, uh, in any of the member states of the European Union, uh, at regional level, for the uh, 
for the, the Benelux countries and also at European level coming at EU IPO for having protection of trademarks, uh, of your trademarks and design in all the 27 uh, countries of the, uh, of the European Union. With, with this, we will reimburse all the fees that you will have to pay at 75%. We, via the SME fund, you can also get the reimbursement of the fees in case you want to have your trademark and design protection outside the European Union via uh, an international trademark or design system. And here we will reimburse fees at 50%. For patents, if you need to protect your patent and you want pr need protect, uh, patent protections, the reimbursement will be 50% of the fees that are uh, for national patent protection. And there are a number of fees which are paid during uh, the, the course of the patent proceedings that can take some month. Finally, one of the services that you can also get that you can see on the top is IP scan. And IP scan is available in some countries where you will have um, it's, a, it's a business advice uh, where you will get an expert sitting with you in order to formulate recommendations regarding your intellectual property uh, strategy, looking at what you have been done, doing so far, what, you, what are your plans of expansions and of growth, and they will formulate recommendations for you to help you in better define your intellectual property strategy. No? It is not a legal advice. Uh, it's not looking at uh, helping you in, in, in uh, preparing a trademark or a patent application. It's really looking at uh, what creativity, what innovations you have and what you have been doing and how you manage it. How to apply to the SME fund? Well, you can do it online directly from our uh, from our website, from EYPO website. And first, and very important, you have to apply for the grant, for the SME fund grant. No? You, it's done only online. It's, you will have also access to a chat. So to get advice, it's quite simple. It will take five to 10 minutes maximum. You just have to get the two evidences I've just mentioned already prepared. Then you will receive the grant. More or less, we will answer to you in uh, up to 15 working days. Currently, we are answering in an average of seven working days. And from that moment, you can start filing your trademark, filing your design, filing your patent, and then you will claim the reimbursement also filling in uh, an online form that we will make available. And we will proceed with the reimbursement as soon as we have evaluated uh, the uh, the fees that we have been requesting. So it is quite easy and it's quite straightforward. This year already, we have already supported more than uh, 19,000 SMEs in Europe and uh, the system is uh, not closed and we still have a couple of months running. No? Just to give you an idea of the number of SMEs which have been supported so far. That was the second support. The third support is an easy filing that you can find on our website that allow you to file uh, your U European Union trademark applications in a easier manner, in a simpler manner by guiding you through uh, the, uh, the applications. And for that, you have Camilla. Camilla is our virtual assistant that will go through uh, will help you going through the different uh, field to be uh, to be filled in and take the proper decisions. No? We also have, in addition, a possibility to chat with an agent uh, uh, at any at any moment. No? And uh, so, like this, you can uh, when you have your brand, when you know uh, the the name that you want to give to your and you want to protect or your logo. So you you can already go for it and uh, and then it's even ensure that you are, you will have a much swifter processing of your trademark application all this information you can find in 
in our in our website in our different websites there but also it's available in the different channels uh linkedin and 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 twitter under the at uh, id sport and id sport for business where you can follow up and also uh, in the uh, id sport for business website which is dedicated to uh, provide you information about intellectual property that you can see there at business dot uh, sport dot eu uh, where you can find even more information and tools about, uh, to help you in with intellectual property so as a sum as a summary of my uh, short intervention i would like to uh, stress how it is important for you to consider protecting your trademark your design in the market and for that, you can count on the, on a number of tools which are available there. Um, that you have solutions available to you to support you in this uh, endeavor. For that, you can get free IP advice, initial advice. You can get, uh, you can identify, or we can help you identify your IP assets via the IP scan. You can also benefit from intellectual property right fee reimbursement via the SME fund. And finally, you can get to register your trademark for 27 countries in Europe in an easier manner. With that, I would like to thank you very much for your time. Here are all the contact information and I will give the floor back to Olivia. Nicola, thank you for, for this great presentation. It was really helpful, I think, to better understand, you know, the importance of registering and protecting IP rights in the global market, um, and also to have an overview of all the interesting initiatives that the EU IP is launching for uh, small businesses. Uh, I think a key point as well to remember is that with Amazon IP Accelerator, you can get quicker and easier access to IP rights at very competitive uh, prices that are also capped. And in addition to that, you can get a full reimbursement with the EU uh, SME fund that uh, Nicola talked about. So uh, if you need any information on these initiatives, I believe the, the moderators will have pasted the links on the chat, uh, but uh, very happy to also send you that um, you know, offline if you, if you give us your uh, contact details uh, on, on the chat. Um, now we have about um, 13 minutes for uh, Q&A, um, so uh, I remind you that you can use the, the Ask uh, an Amazon Expert functionality on the top right of the screen to send us questions. Um, but while we wait for questions to come in, Nikolai, I actually have a request, maybe more than a question for you. Uh, many people who connected today may not know exactly what intellectual property is. We talked a little bit about it during our respective presentations, but could you maybe give us a very simple explanation? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, and thanks for the question, which is a great question and show how uh, this uh, this topic could be of interest. Uh, intellectual property, as I just explained, is a, is a way to protect the business creation and innovation. No? And uh, it's uh, the, the protection covers that and avoid that actually they can be copied and that others can actually take the benefits of the specific business no in doing it no i gave just before the example with a number of uh, of different tools that do protect uh, different type of aspects no and i mentioned maybe mainly four aspects no i mean trademarks where you with a trademark you protect your brand no you protect your logo you protect the name of your company the name of your product and so on uh, with the design you protect the appearance of your product uh, with the patent, you protect your innovations, your inventions, no? So it's uh, more technical, no? Uh, what has been it's, uh, the results of, uh, of, uh, of an activity uh, that you have been doing in the technology field. And with copyright, well, you protect uh, uh, what we are currently doing, for instance, no? Giving a presentation, uh, you protect uh, a book, you can protect music and so on, no? And, uh, and it's much more. So you see that all the results of the cre human creativity and uh, uh, human intervention uh, is protected with one tool or another. And many times in the same product, 
the different tools are, uh, are overlapping to ensure that all these different aspects are, are well protected. No, uh, I gave the example of the phone that is protected, the brand is protected, uh, uh, the uh, shape of the phone is also protected, uh, and uh, the, the, there is uh, also some elements of the, uh, of the uh, different icons and so on, which are also protected, as well as a lot of technology which is embedded in a, in a, in a mobile phone in order to ensure that it works. So all this is intellectual property, and it's very important that you can we will figure out that in what you are doing in every day in all businesses they have a lot of intellectual property there thank you nicola um so we have a question do i have to pay amazon to use uh, amazon ip accelerator um no absolutely not so amazon ip accelerator is a is a free program uh, we do not charge you a fee to connect you with the trusted law firms. Uh, everything you do is directly with the law firm. So you uh, select them directly and you also pay the law firm uh, directly. Amazon does not get involved. Um, let me see if there's another question. Uh, intellectual property rights could help me, but I have no idea which one could be right for my company or where to start. Where do you recommend people start? Um, maybe that's one for you, Nicolas. Do you want to? Yeah, it's it's not not an easy question, no, uh, to do, and that's also why we have been doing and we have been uh, releasing the solutions of the free uh, uh, IP advice, no, because it's this is basically if you don't have this uh, this information in house, you have to uh, to look for someone some expert that can help you uh, in guiding you through, I mean, all these uh, uh, different tools and intellectual property uh, that could apply to you and to your business, no? And uh, I think this is uh, why I would say, I would suggest that to uh, to enroll in the IP, free ad IP advice. And then later on, I mean, as you just explained, uh, Olivia, no? When, uh, when there is a, a, a stronger case for, for trademarks, then they can relate to, I mean, your uh, the, the Amazon IP Accelerator project program for continuing their journey. Um, we have another question um, from a participant. You mentioned that IP Accelerator law firms have capped prices. What are the rates to register a trademark? Um, so basically, as, as I mentioned, there are two types of searches. There's a high level identical search um, that will look for trademark office records uh, for relevant pending applications or registrations. That is 250 euros. Um, there is a comprehensive brand search, um, you know, including uh, trademark office records and unregistered uses across the internet. Uh, that's 1,000 euros. And uh, filing an actual um, EU IPO trademark application, for example, is uh, 450 euros across all EU countries. Um, but obviously, if you want the detail by country, uh, again, please refer to our website to contact us. So it's uh, brandservices.amazon.com slash IP Accelerator. Um, other question, who can apply for the fund and what are the specific criteria to benefit from it? Um, I think, Nicola, you explained a little bit during your presentation, but maybe you can uh, you can clarify the criteria for, for the audience. Yeah, the criteria is that uh, it must be, well, the SME fund is open to all European Union based small and medium size enterprises. No, So you must be established within the European Union, and you must be one of the uh, uh, small and medium-sized uh, business. So it's less than 250 employees. No? So you can be a startup or a self-employed. What are excluded are universities, foundations, associations, which are not, uh, not made for profit uh, uh, organizations. No? And we will ask you, I mean, one document to prove, to prove that, no? which is actually all a VAT number, because normally when you are a business, you are subject to, uh, to VAT or the national identi uh, certificate of the national identification number uh, that, you, that is issued by the competent authority. Uh, I see a, a question that is in relation to, to what you mentioned. Um, the, the 
participant is asking, I'm the owner of a small business in Germany. Do I need a law firm to apply for the SME fund or can I do that myself? Yeah, there are two options. I mean, you can do it yourself and uh, you can also do it uh, uh, via your, uh, your attorney. That can be an IP attorney, but it can be also any representative. Your accountants can also make the uh, process of filing or requesting uh, the SME fund. So it's both, uh, both are open. What is very important is that when we proceed to the reimbursement, the reimbursement will uh, always go to you, to the business, to the SME account. No, will never go to the uh, to your attorney uh, for for in the case of the SME fund. It will always go to the to your bank account that is provided and that we will check. Thank you, Nicola. Uh... There's a question about the uh, Amazon brand protections I mentioned. So what do I need to do to receive Amazon brand protections once my law firm files my trademark application? Um, so basically, once Amazon becomes aware that uh, an application has been filed via IP Accelerator, we will uh, send you an invitation to enroll in brand registry. Um, and once you complete the brand registry enrollment, you will be uh, automatically uh, enrolled in the automated brand protections I talked about in the report of violation tool, uh, which allows you to report intellectual property infringements. And you will also get access to all the selling benefits uh, provided by um, a brand registry, which are uh, so the, the uh, A plus content, brand analytics, the brand dashboard, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all, um, you know, we, we can see that you have applied for a trademark via IP Accelerate on our side and we will send you an invitation. Um, we have a comment rather than a question. Many people might like to register their rights, but feel it might be too expensive. So I think, Nicola, you, you talked about the SME fund that can help with that, but maybe you, you want to add uh, to that. I don't know. <laughs> no, th this is something that uh, maybe in terms of business decisions, that's not the, necessarily the where a lot of businesses will dedicate uh, their limited uh, resources uh, to protect their IP. Nevertheless, I mean, as I indicated, it's very important to... Uh, I mean that it's um, it's an informed decisions because it's a decisions that uh, that has quite a, a lot of, can may, might have some some big uh, consequences and that's the reason why also at the UIPO with our support from our colleagues from the European Commission we have designed the uh, the EU uh, with the SME fund no because uh, with the SME fund I mean we we reimburse the trademark design patent fees. And uh, of course, it does not cover 100%, but it's cover, it, it covers quite a, a substantial amount, no? 75% for trademark and design, 50% for the rest of the fees. So that means that actually it should be uh, quite a big incentive. And the fact that we have uh, over 19,000 SMEs, which are already benefiting in 22 from the SME fund, I mean, demonstrate that, uh, that it really it makes the difference. So I would recommend them to apply to the SME fund if you are one of those uh, affected by, uh, by the crisis and even those who think that, uh, that uh, IP rights are too expensive. I think we have time for one more question. Um, and I see there is a question about, um, so someone says my law firm submitted a trademark application, but I haven't been invited to enroll in brand registry. Can you help? Um, so if your law firm has confirmed that they provided your trademark application serial number to Amazon and you haven't received an invitation to enroll, like I said, uh, you know, please send your details to our moderators on the chat and we will get back to you on that. Um, so I think we're at time. We have just one minute left. So I just wanted to thank everyone for your attention. And please don't forget uh, to visit our virtual booth on getting started on Amazon brand tools and brand protection and transparency, which are connected to the topic we discussed today. Uh, you can schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings with Amazon experts there. Um, and I also invite you to take a look at the EUIPO website, euipo.europa.eu, for more information on IP and all the new uh, EUIPO initiatives and resources that uh, Nicola talked about today. 
Uh, thank you everyone for your time and uh, I think we can uh, we can close this session. Thank you Olivia and have a nice afternoon everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>